Hi everybody, this is Vectone, and we're going to be talking about how to route Contact 5 into FL Studio. Uh, right now I have a blank FL Studio open, and uh, you can go ahead and do that on your computer as well. Uh, here we go, here's my instrument, and I have Contact 5 opened already. This is just a blank Contact 5. So this is what you should see when you open uh, your plugin. Uh, as we all know, Contact 5 can load up multiple instrument patches and play them. So let's see, I have a cello solo patch, and now when I press input on my keyboard... Okay, so we can hear that uh, the cello is playing. Uh, now, if I want to add another instrument, let's see, I've got a horn, so let's play my session horns. Uh, now we see that the session horns are loaded up directly under the solo cello. Uh, the only problem is that when I play my input, I'm not going to hear the session horns. I will still hear my solo cello. So in order to uh, change to the horns, we just need to go into our piano roll. It's going to be one way to do it. And you can go ahead and go up to this little green color here and just left click it. And we're going to go to channel 2. So now when I play my keyboard, I'm going to hear the instruments. So that is how you change from one instrument in contact to the other. Uh, and if you didn't know how to do that, uh, you would have to load up contact, uh, a, the plugin itself, for every single instrument. Uh, so that is the first step to understanding how we're going to be routing. So just know that now we can play as many instruments as we want in contact in just one version of it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to route both of these instruments to their own free mixer channels in FL Studio. So we're going to put both of those instruments into channel 1 and channel 2. Uh, so to do that, we're just going to need to take a look at the output. So let's go ahead and uh, click the output tab, and you should get something like this. We're going to have, uh, it looks like a mixer. And uh, we're going to have one that says stereo 1, and the rest will be aux 1, 2, 3, and 4. So uh, what we'll be dealing with is our stereo channel. So right now we only have one. Uh, what we're going to want to do is add more. So we can just go up to our Add Channels button here, uh, click that, and we're going to see the uh, quantity is how many we're going to add. So, uh, you know, however many instruments you're working with, you would just add that many channels, but we've already got one. So if I want, uh, let's see, three channels, I'm just going to go up and add three. And uh, the number of channels is going to be two. That's going to keep it at stereo. And then ascending output assignment should be checked off. So go ahead and press OK. So now we see we have stereo 1, 2, 3, and 4 up in our mixer. And uh, you can assign instruments to each one of these, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and focus on these little rectangles. You can see stereo 1 is already programmed. It says 1 slash 2. Uh, we're going to need to program stereo 2 by clicking the rectangle, and we'll see we have channel number 1 and 2 and physical out, and they both say not connected. So to change that, we just left click the not connected and we're again we're programming stereo 2 so we see, uh, find the drop down we see here contact stereo 2 number 1 contact stereo 2 number 2 so these numbers in the bracket represent the channel over here so for channel 1 we'll do contact stereo 2 1 and channel 2 we'll do contact stereo 2 2 all right and there we go we just press okay and then we might get this pop up message which uh, tells you to reopen all your plugins after you make changes to the configuration. Uh, just go ahead and press OK. And now we see it says 3 and 4 down here. So now we're going to do the same thing with uh, channel 3 and 4. So stereo 3, contact stereo 3, 1, contact stereo 3, 2. Press OK. And channel 4, contact stereo 4, 1, and contact stereo 4, 2. And press OK. So now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. Uh, so now we're going to route each of the instruments we have into their own separate channels. So I'm going to put my cello on stereo 1, and I'm going to put my horns on stereo 2. Uh, to do that, we just go up to the main instrument control panel, and we look at our output. So right now, my cello solo is on stereo 1, which is ex exactly where I want it to be. Let's go look at the trumpets. Here we go. The output is on stereo 1, but we want it to be on stereo 2. So that should show up in the drop-down menu after you program it. All right, so there we go. Now when we uh, play input, we should see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select my cello, and it should show up in stereo 1 when I play keys. 
All right, perfect. And now let's go ahead and select our trumpet and test that one out. All right, so now it's showing up in Stereo 2. So if I wanted to add two more instruments, I could do that as well and just make their outputs three and four. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is program these channels and route them to correspond with the channels in FL Studio. So we'll put Stereo 1 on Insert 1 and Stereo 2 on Insert 2. To do that, we simply need to go up to our plugin settings and that's gonna be uh, the little plug and the cog in FL Studio 12 and click on processing. And we're gonna be looking at the auto map down here. So these uh, clear squares represent the channel that these outputs will be going into. So we can see that number one is stereo one, which was our cello. So if we want our cello to be in the first channel in FL Studio, we just go and scroll up to a one. So now when uh, stereo one plays, it's gonna go through channel one. And we can just go ahead and uh, count up the numbers, one, two, three, and four, and we can do that all the way for as many channels as we have. Uh, one thing you can also do is press auto map and it will auto map the channels for you. Uh, the only problem with this is that it, it keeps the first uh, output on channel zero and channel zero in FL Studio is the master channel. So we don't want the instrument to play through the master channel. We want its own free mixer channel. That way we can add its own effects to it. So uh, like I just like to do it manually and go one, two, three, and four, and we can just go up to as many as we want or however many instruments we're using. So we can go back into our settings now and select our cello, and when we play notes, we should now see input on insert one. Perfect, we can see that it's coming right through insert one now, and also stereo one as well. So now let's go down to our horns and select those and play our horns. Perfect, you can see input coming right into insert two, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, so now uh, I can easily just click on my insert and add effects to them individually. And so uh, if you didn't know how to route this, uh, you would think to assign contact itself to its own free mixer channel. Uh, but then you wouldn't be able to apply the effects to individual instruments. It would all go on to all of the instruments loaded into your single contact. So again, this method helps you save space and uh, it helps you, uh, I guess, keep your instruments individual in their own tracks. So you can EQ them, mix them, add effects to them, whatever you want to do. So uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps somebody. And uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to ask me in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content.